It's Thursday morning. I'm just going to pull the sprayer out of the shed. Uh, might have some beans going from behind it later. And um, we've had let's get the heat, the seat. Um, we've had three mil of rain overnight, which is more than we expected, and it's just starting to dry off now. But because it was so dry, we're hoping that we can still get out spreading fertilizer onto moist soil, so it'll evaporate straight in. And also, we've got more rain forecast tomorrow and wind, so we won't be able to spread tomorrow. It'll be too windy. Filling up the spreader now, but we've pulled it underneath the roof so we don't get any dampness in the hopper. Someone was asking about the rodent repellent spray. Anyway, uh, Viva mknetwork.co.uk and that's the product code for it so if anyone is interested that's where it's from that's the stuff we sprayed on the john deere wiring loom and sorry the, the bateman wiring loom and the john deere seat got the circus saw i've got to cut some floorboards out in the house because last night when i came in the there was water leaking through the kitchen ceiling because of one of the central heating pipes has decided to start leaking so i've got one up but i need to cut the rest out to see exactly what's going on right let's just see if i can trim this floorboard now and lift it out because the joint's under there wouldn't you know it'd be the bottom one which is underneath or was it that one rubbed on that i don't know anyway i went a bit close there with the uh, saw didn't i bit of fur going in there mel over there been chipping the other one's just gone around the corner to get the bucket because there's a wagon here for beans and another one here for wheat so, uh, no, not wheat, sorry, OSR. So, you can tell they're here, two wagons, it's dinner time. Paul Earth's here, uh, known Paul for years, he used to spread our lime in the Union Bank farm, Black Scania. So, you got air horns? Yeah. How oh, high on the roof? <laughs> it's a brand new trailer as well. My dad's loading beans over here. On a, um, is that a Scania as well? That's a Scania, isn't it? There's a Volvo on stamp haulage. Oh, yeah, that's just, I don't know, I'll have a look at the front. No, it's a Volvo FH. They all look the same from the side, I think, with the windows. Some truckers watching will be like, they look nothing like each other, just like, I can tell the difference from the different tractors from across the field, even different models within the same manufacturer, but. I reckon, expect truckers will be the same. It's the TJ's 450 Scania. Rob's loading it with OSR. It's all right now we can back it. So even if it's raining, we're loading under cover as well. It's the queue now to get on the way bridge to get out the yard. I've got a sample of the wagon that's waiting to go out now because we keep a retained sample from every load of OSR that goes. Looks like uh, some beans have overspilled. I don't know if it's been on the guy's sheet or someone missed with the bucket. But yeah, you can tell it's dinner time. It's day pretty dry, so we're just bouncing some bags, make sure there's no lumps in them. And Andrew's managed to carry on spreading urea all day. We're now on the wheat now with it. There's about a thousand pounds worth going in now. Go back and get another two bags. Dearest we've ever spread. Just putting these bags in the skip and I was too busy watching that tractor down there. Backing in, I think it's Banks is with fertilizer. And I've just caught there with the pallet for hook. Go! Oh, I think that's a sign on there. In fact, that's a no, it might be where there's a window going. Yeah, back it down. Just uh, back it down, yeah. Just doing a photo shoot because my mum has won a competition uh, from the farmer's guide and won a pedal fence tractor. So I think she's sending him a picture of the pedal fence tractor next to a real fence tractor. Quickly fill the sprayer up now, then I'm gonna go and do a little bit more roundup and while it's nice and still, because it's giving it windy for the next few days. Need to just say thanks to everyone that had suggestions of hot pressure washers. Um, sadly, I got that many. Uh, I haven't had time. I'm gonna have to make a list because everyone that messaged me all said I've got one of these. It's the best. But I think four or five different brands were mentioned, so I might have to compile a little bit of a chart of what people recommend as being the best, perhaps. Um, do some ringing around and get some prices, perhaps. Um, yeah, so thanks for that anyway. But yeah, I kind of overloaded meat in boxes on most platforms about that one.
Oh, also as well, loads of people keep sending me friend requests on Facebook. I can't add any more people. When you have 5,000, you can't add any more. But we have got an agri-contract Facebook page if you want to find that. Uh, but yeah, don't find me because I can't add anyone. Finished the field I was on, which was what they call the golf club field, which is by the golf club. Just swap into another field now. This is a little one that we're going to put into grass because we've decided that it's that we might earn more money out of it in grassland, in what's called uh, low input. I can't remember what the low input grassland where we can get paid so much a hectare for it. So it's a little bit of an outlier of a field. It's next to a big field, but it's just a bit of a nuisance because it's all heaven. You go around the outside and it's you've done the whole lot. So I'm going to do that, but I've just done an interview for, sorry, I'm just trying to change this to the right field. Just done an interview for a magazine, is it You Magazine, from one of the Sunday papers. So we wanted to know the whole story of YouTube and earning money from social media. So I was explaining that, you know, some months do really well on YouTube, but I said I would swap the whole thing tomorrow for better interest rates, which you couldn't get a head around when I explained that, you know, YouTube might seem like life-changing money for what you can earn per month, but when you farm, it, it doesn't go very far. Not when you've got mortgages on land and farms. So, yeah, she was quite shocked by that fact, but it's true. It's cash-hungry farming. You say if you want to make a million quid farming, start with three. I think that's what Clarks are doing, actually. Probably thought it was 30. Just jumped off quickly before it goes too dark. I thought I'd quickly do the birthday bump bath. So Ben Merchant is on there. Rose is 9, Connor Multi is 17, Michael Glanfield is 72, Kelly Mulder is 45, Debbie Swift, Rob Highfield is 42, good age, Andy Abelman as well is on there, so happy birthday to everyone on there and anyone else whose birthday is £26,496, amazing, thank you, that's all for the North West Air Ambulance. Just show you this here, once I've gone around the outside of the field, I've actually finish the field there's no head there's no bits in the middle it's all headland see someone has kindly dumped some tires over the fence well off the top of the bridge into the field they could have at least thrown them in the river so they were someone else's responsibility so I think they can live in the brambles in the corner of the field it's a bit of an embankment out the way for now Just been spraying off the grass weed and little bits of weed in the bottom of the sunflowers and uh, it's a bit weird in the dark it's like in some certain directions they look like a load of sort of skulls hanging from the tops of the stems anyway i've finished now i'm just doing this little triangle there Another day and it's gone dark quicker than I thought. I keep thinking that the lights, the, the nights are pulling out and then the next thing you know, it's pitch black and it's half six. Anyway, thanks for watching today. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you all tomorrow. Oh yeah, sorry, no, actually, don't forget. I've, so I've got loads of footage from visiting Reezy of College yesterday. It's quite amazing some of the stuff that they've got going on there. So I'm gonna show you that, but I've got a conference next week. So I'll probably show you while I'm at the conference because you don't want to see what's going on at the conference because it's probably a bit boring. Also, we visited Cheshire Farm Machinery's open day on the way home and filmed some more stuff from John Bowles. So there's lots of tractors and lots of stuff coming up, but um, I'll save that for days when I'm doing something boring so that you've got an interesting video. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.